this morning, the hammer-wielding intruder, who allegedly broke into the Pelosi home through a back door, facing attempted homicide charges after striking 82-year-old Paul Pelosi in the head. The House Speaker has been spending time at the hospital with her husband, who's recovering from life-threatening injuries. It happened early Friday morning when 42-year-old David DePap allegedly broke into Pelosi's San Francisco home. Sources saying he shouted, where is Nancy? Where is Nancy? He was looking for Mrs. Pelosi. But the Democratic leader was across the country in Washington, D.C. Instead, police say the suspect confronted her husband, who dialed 911. RP stated that there's a male in the home and that he's going to wait for his wife. RP stated that he doesn't know who the male is. Police credit the quick-thinking dispatcher who picked up on Pelosi's clues that he was in immediate danger and sent help within minutes. It was life-saving, in my opinion. Officers arriving at the scene amid what they describe as a struggle over the suspect's hammer. Police tackling DePap, but not before they say he fractured Pelosi's skull and seriously injured his arms and hands. Investigators later revealing they found zip ties inside the home. Pelosi undergoing surgery over the weekend. The speaker saying Saturday his condition continues to improve. The focus now turning to the suspect's digital footprint, a personal blog published under his name, brimming with far-right extremism, conspiracy theories like QAnon, and anti-Semitic postings. Democrats, including President Biden, sounding the alarm. You can't condemn the violence unless you condemn those people who continue to argue the election was not real. Republican lawmakers echoing concerns. And we've got to do everything we can to lower the rhetoric. A call for civility after a savage attack on the husband of the Speaker of the House. So disturbing, Miguel, and this comes amid a growing number of threats against members of Congress. Yeah, that's right. Threats to the members of Congress are up 144 percent in recent years. And Savannah, as you know, we're just days away from the midterm elections. Savannah. Miguel Almaguer, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.